one more time. Here we go. Hey there everyone, this is our Oblings, the SMT, here we go, the K word of Christmas are our, sounds like, <laughs> I did not make up that name, I swear. So hey there everyone, so I have a video game here, it's called ASMT, and it's ASM Glee, here we go, slide and kill a hat man. Uh, I did something slightly with the game here, hopefully you will not notice any differences, but I'm putting that out there to make people paranoid. Uh, how's it going? So we're in World 2, last time we made it to World 2, we're in World 2 now. Uh, world 2 is one big split path, like the first level of the world, like, splits in half, like, immediately, right? So my goal today, if I can make it happen, would be to basically play one of the halves. Uh, maybe not a castle. Honestly, I remember the castle of this world being so hard. I have no qualms and just even assuming to this day that it's gonna be a one shot, one video. Look at all these bones. Welcome to the bone column family. Well, oh, got a reverse track on that radish, Mac. Here we go. Everyone plays a video game once, then forget what they've done. It's a price of something. I don't know what I'm saying at all. Here we go. No, I ain't no nothing doing here. Alright, I guess I can't go back up there then. Look at that pawn. Is there gonna be a giant bullet? No, it's not. Ooh, one tile jump. One tile jump! <laughs> I explain surprise knowing very well of another level in this world. <laughs> but still. Uh, Gouda still. It's like in World 2. That is a high cost. I mean, let's be fair. That kind of thing was not considered in the making of this game. Like, that's just outright the truth. Like, uh, the, the real situation was that it was a gathering of people of where everyone except like one or two persons had never even touched Lunar Magic before. It's kind of a minor miracle that the game came out at all, but at the same time you could argue it's the reason why a game came out at all. Yoshi's Warehouse! Where's the house? It's a pretty funny joke no one ever thought about before I'm going in this green pipe and can't do anything about it. So where means man and house means house. This is the house man. You gotta be at the bus, gotta get to the key. Whoa. There's a shell up there, if you want it, maybe I don't. Well, there's a guy that there's a spring barn over here. I see what's going on. We're gonna use the springboard to go ahead and springboard. Well, I mean, let's be fair, I, I kind of remember a lot of this place. It's a very memorable place. I remember it being very easy to kill that guy. Like, you wanna... You wanna get that shell up there. Because you want him to welcome the spirit of dance within his body and soul like he was always meant to be. But it's kind of easy to bob him by accident, so... Alright, here we go, here. You just gotta stand around. You know how to stand, you know how to round. You have everything you'll ever need, my friend. Uh, look at that, he fell. Now that's gonna go pop. It's gonna go pop. Look at that plant. Gonna get a bop. Gonna set the bop. Gonna go bop. Here we go. Get some. You go in the door, then you end up in the refrigerator. So, whoa, how did that happen? And you're like, uh, uh, and you're like, wait, I forget where the key is at. I think it's over there. Uh, I did, yeah, see it's over here. So you go like, oof. And you're like, alright, well now I pop the thing, so now what used to be block is now monetary exchange. It's all you need to know about muffins, alright? Sometimes brands, sometimes raisins. I'm not excited about raisins as much as you think by the tone of my voice. This is another egg of those. What you do is go in this gray pipe, and you're like, whoa, it's a gray pipe, we're gonna go in a gray pipe. And it's like, whoa, welcome to Nantucket. Uh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Where there's a railing, it's where it's safe. That's a skull. I jumped in it. I still think that, you know, that's kind of a neat thing. 
You got the safety rails, and that's where you're safe. And, like, it's very scary. I should've ducked. I don't know what I was thinking. And then you're like, whoosh. No, that's the important part. Alright, here we go. Safety rails means safety net means safety quail. Everything you need to know about Plum is that they lie. Well, I'm glad I've gotten that out of it. Take it. Oh, I'm gonna hang out here. I don't know if that's good enough. I, uh, I forget how tight this is. Or not tight, this might be. But I'm gonna hang out here now. It's my home now. Welcome to Nebraska. You gotta go like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Like, this is kinda legit. I was legit a little bit afraid there. Gotta have to go up to get down and into the fridge there. Go inside a door and forget the bridge there. So here it's supposed to be where you go right and like, you're going into an infinite series. Never, it never, it never it goes forever. It never stops. The author didn't uh, expect that I would just go left immediately and solve the puzzle, and I, that still makes me laugh to this day. When plans go awry, rye tuna bread. Oh, God, that's probably how we're gonna end. Today's gonna be real short. But like I said, like, uh, we need to relax the pickle a little bit sometimes, I don't know, so this is, this is this level, you got a blue Yoshi, this level is, like, secretly pretty clever, cause you see, it's a pipe maze, but instead of being a pipe maze where you, like, go into pipes and stuff, it's, it's a literal maze, it's like a napkin maze, you know, that thing that exists. That's a bomb. They're light bulbs? And whoop! I never really understood that one. Uh, to be fair, I feel like not really any of those flight replacements are meant to be understood, quote unquote. But the light bulbs in particular, I'm like, are light bulbs known for exploding? I guess if you don't take care of them? I don't know, man. Yeah, that's right, that's a double down you gotta do. Whoa, there we go, you gotta refresh your marbles, and then you're like, Congratulations, you move thing! Bucket of grass, but you don't go in that pipe. That's a ruse, you go in this pipe. Now, see, this is pure memory. These are the kind of thing that got caught in my memory trap all these days ago. I didn't yum this time. Yeah, seriously? Seriously. I didn't make it. Feels pretty embarrassing. That's just how it is. It's a massive button. Also, biggish. Biggish, I feel, implies not as large as massive. So, there's some self contradiction. There's a keyhole. There's a key next to that house. That's a cute graphic. Did it do it here? Doesn't do it here. I guess it only does it in the house. I mean, the, when you got the ball, it's obvious. So, that's just because it's not a circle. That's really nice. Uh, afraid of something unseen. The second level I've used for life farming. So, back in the day, this was made by Chidada. He was like 10 or 12 years old back then. Watch out for a demon, lay inside the toilet. That's just good advice. Um, so once upon a time, this level was literally a VIP 4 level. It's the level where, you know, all the sprites were invisible. Sort of like what's happening in this level. It was the exact same. People like, dude, you can't just have the exact same level in it, though. Like, that's ridiculous. Which, you know, I agree. Um, just so they can hear it quickly clack. Uh, so, so here's the thing. Like, this level is weird because there's weird solid objects where they shouldn't be. And, like, the cannon, they appear to be appearing out of nowhere. I've heard that the explanation for this is because when he remade the level, he did not change where the cannon sprites were. And so that's why you still got cannons firing out of essentially non-indicated places. See, I thought at a time, and I'm willing to kind of defend it like that a little bit, is that it is supposed to be unreliable to preserve, like, to make it less predictable, essentially, of where a cannon's gonna can from. But, I'll admit, it doesn't make for great gameplay, and especially not for World 2. Like, maybe I'm paying too much attention to the worlds we're at and whatnot, but I don't know. Whoa, there's some, like, nonsense going on on top of the screen there. 
Whoop. That's right, all on purpose. Everything I do is for real. Oh, you. You're solid. You don't even flip around. What a jerk. Alright, here we go. Although, I don't know, this seems to respect the placement of the cannons a whole lot. I wonder if this was fixed. Like, I wonder if this is something that was fixed when Supermax fixed this. Maybe not. Like, I just... No, see, here you got things coming out of nowhere. Yeah! Oh, they fixed that where it's not the regular song anymore. Yeah, it used to be that it would just play the star song because it had custom music or something. Or not custom music. Now watch out, I'll hear you're invincible in the pudding, but not, um... If your feet don't touch the ground? I, I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, this is prime level grind spot right here. You, you just eat your links or leeks, and you become invincible and full of yays. Uh, well, that was stupid on my end. See, I did a more shallow jump so I would get the dragon coin, so that I could say that I got the dragon coin. But by doing that, uh, my jump was clearly not strong enough to clear the actual pit, like the real reason you want to be doing that jump, so... You know what? Maybe I just purposefully lost a life in order to get more here, huh? Get ourselves a nice background of lives here. Like, I'm not gonna max out the full value. But, you know, enough so that I don't have to fear for maybe a small chunk of the game. I mean, I don't know, honestly, how that's gonna turn out, pan out, plan out, pancakes. Great! Flip them in a pan. Then you say yay. Always say yay. Alright, and then here I can just do one big jump. I did, still did it way more shallow than I needed. I don't know why I didn't give it, like, a real tussle there. I can keep playing with fire. One day I'm gonna get burnt, probably. Oh, well. I'm stuck here because they can't permit me. But then we can. Oh my gosh, it's the same the same gag, but then I put a V in there. Doesn't make sense. And there was weird, like, dots, like, yellow, white, white dots on the side. I want to keep playing, so I'm gonna keep playing, I guess. I'm gonna start on the next poke. I don't know, Fire Hazard come but that... Fire Hazard Canopy is one of those, like, infamous level. And it's basically a level where I was called out on something I said. Because the author, like, took to heart one day when I, I said, for whatever reason, people would be more okay with levels about one tile hopping if you disguise what your one tile hops are, like if they're not just like one tile brown blocks. And so here we have a whole level made out of one tile branches. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Uh, this is probably too demanding for a world to- but again, like, do the statement make sense in the context? Remember what I said in the first video two days ago? The- this is made for people who know how to smooth. Like, only people who are gonna play this is people who know how to play smooth, so you don't need introduction. You can start at a higher level. That's just a fireball that fell on me with me. No real way to react to it. It's pretty good. Oh boy, uh... Is probably a power-up in there? How do you get there? I was not looking at that little flame. Like, that's on me. A hundred percent on me there. I was rushing. Uh-oh, is the real game starting today? By taking this path? Like, I know that I start with this path back in the day, so... Already, like, anyone that wants to track anything regarding, like, comparing my two playthroughs, I've already made things difficult. I'm sorry. So I know there's a block straight down from here. Well, block, yeah. Well, yeah. See, is it worth that if a flame is just gonna be there and mess me up? But yeah, but by making it... Ugh, shoot. I, I got played, I... I thought the little fireball over on the right would have been in my way and, and ended up not being. You need to be patient for this level. All 
All right, I am not in danger of fireball this time. So I can just enjoy this beady snack right from the start. Now I can take, like, take your time, uh, uh, okay. you need to take your time. You cannot rush this level. If you rush this level, you are going to be dead. That's just the sum and all of it. So don't rush. Take your time. You got the standard 300 Mario time unit, which is plenty. Take your time and tank that one falling fireball when you start to do Koopa hops. See here, I feel like I'm in a weird spot. All right, there we go. You gotta like do awkward little jumps to lower portions of the bus. Where is that? Okay, well this time I dodged a fire. Oh man, I died right at midpoint. It's kind of like dying right at the end, except it's like it's like the start of the end. I don't know. It's the end of a portion. Now we have a generator. Level is still mostly the same. I mean, I don't like. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know what happened to my throat there. <laughs> this is certainly a memorable level, if anything. I, mean, I don't know, but like, it is what it is. It is what it is. That cannot be denied. Got Thank you, Kong music. A game country. Might have heard of that. Hey, it's the end. Um, why am I sticking around here? Because I want stars, I guess? I still want to put myself in situations where gaining lives will be relatively doable. And so this is like nice, simple ways. You can make that happen a little bit. Alright, I am gonna stop now though. So I guess I'm going on a schedule of like four levels a video, which is a little bit faster than I used to. But I mean, as long as I can pull it off, like that's gonna stop. That will slow down. The game's gonna get real rough at some point. I know it. Yeah, I know, I don't have a duck. I haven't had that duck for years. I miss it. An attempt was made.